Welcome back to the warm-up. Jim and I are back from spring training where we've made various and sundry observations. Jim's favorite uh, all-time guy and his personal hero now, Tom Wilhelmson. Did I pronounce that right? Yeah, I, well, you should I butchered it yesterday, didn't I? Or wait, I got Wilhelmson right, but I butchered Pat Mittman. <laughs> right? Because I was calling Matt Pittman. I, I oh, stumbled. man. that's yeah. I, I'd be hard-pressed to get that I'm out. I'm glad myself. my point guard's back. Point guard's here, back. Here, here's the ball. Jason Kidd. Da, 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 da. I'm a pass-first pass kind of guy, though, i got to tell you. I'm not, I'm not into scoring a lot. All right. uh, wh where are we going? Oh, Tom Wilhelmson made the ball club. So uh, he's part of uh, what I think is going to be an interesting staff. I mean, who are these guys? We'll ask that question today. Uh, Tom Wilhelmson will be with us here on the broadcast. I actually saw him. We went out and watched him pitch on Sunday. Oh, did you? Yeah, against the Rangers in Beltray. Beltray's squawking from the dugout, and Ron Washington walks out on the field while Wilhelmson's trying to get a guy out up there. I think he's pitching to Michael Young at the time. So there was kind of a distraction there. There was, And then Wedge came out on the field because he's shouting at the umpire because Washington's slowing down play. Finally, they, they get people back to their benches, and Wilhelmson goes to work on Michael Young and gets him to ground out. He did a terrific job to get himself out of the inning. Despite the distraction, I thought, that guy just sewed up an opportunity on the ball club with what he did right there. I don't. Well, I know there's not a better story on the Mariners. I don't think there's a better story in baseball. This guy, you know, form, a former pot smoker, former bartender, got kicked out of baseball because he tested twice at 19 years of age, right, for marijuana. Yeah, and then he just said the hell with it. His yeah. heart wasn't in it. Went and was a bartender down in Tucson. Yeah. For five years, Amazing. got married, kind of got his desire back to backpacked around the world. Figure out, yeah, figure out maybe you know I should try it. this baseball thing again, and uh, yeah, I just I think it's a great story. Well, he's going to be with us today. Andrea Kramer's going to be here as well. She did a thing on HBO's uh, Inside Sports with uh, with Gumbel about college players, football players at Auburn taking cash to play. Now, I don't know, maybe I'm naive. I thought this had been going on anyway yeah, for a long so, time, yeah. right? Sexual favors, too. Did you see that? Well, that, that too. Yeah. Sexual favors. By well, anytime the they come on campus, they roll out the, the best-looking dance girls. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, they do. It's crazy with these people. Did they do that at Butler for you? No, they didn't. Yeah, they didn't do it. No, they didn't. I had to go look for my own. I did, too. Didn't bring them to me. Yeah. No pimping at yeah. Butler University. That's why they're in the Final Four. It should be a lesson to all you young whippersnappers. All right, that'll do it. Our show begins at 3, which is uh, about four minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs>